hi guys this is my tutorial about how to install this cooler master hyper 212 evo and so on uh, with a 120 millimeters uh, fan it comes with four heat pipes it's quite powerful but it's not too heavy i think it's a nice uh, trade-off between power weight and price it's uh, at the moment uh, at 29 dollars so it's quite reasonable so but how to change your uh, old like intel fan to this cooler master fan i'm doing this based on a specific um yeah specific uh, socket like the intel i think it's i have to look it up um the 1150 so i'm having the 1150 intel and so this is the whole thing is based on the intel socket 1150 so yeah here you of course you have to remove uh the both sides uh front and back and you have to remove the old fan like do you have to i hope you have been able to see that that was a little bit fast i start again from the beginning uh, you have to untighten the four screws uh, 90 degrees um, counterclockwise and then when it, when they are a little bit loose you can pull the whole fan out straight up okay so I continue with that it was a little bit hard so yeah there was some uh, uh, cooling um, yeah grease like uh, some some uh, thermal paste old thermal paste which I have had to remove um, yeah you can find a lot of videos about how to remove you need some hand sanitizer or you can use some hand sanitizer and tissue so yeah you have also to remove the back which you can see back plate so you can ask access the motherboard from underneath this is the place where the cpu is and you see also the four holes uh, i think they are around here yeah okay so you can see the four holes and you have to mount the back plate uh, you have also to prepare the uh, cooling fan before you start you have to detach the fan itself from the heatsink because otherwise you cannot access to the, the the screws you have to screw uh the thing down and the screws are underneath the fan so you have to really remove even when there's an, enough space like uh, between the cooler and the rams even when it's not even when there is enough space you have to really remove the fan itself okay you can see this um yeah so that's it that was the hyper uh, time lapse so i'm starting i hope this is picture one where you can see uh picture one from the um instruction where you can see all the all the details all the parts which are included and if you have intel socket 1150 not everything is needed um, especially um, and some parts are also for an extra fan so like these parts are for an extra fan and i think they were not needed and these screws are also only for the extra fan so and yeah there's some uh, cooling paste uh, thermal paste as well so you every everything is inc included you don't have to buy extra stuff for this so it starts with number one intel and the amd so it's also for the intel 1150 you have to remove the the fan from the heatsink of course then 
second you can start uh, apply the uh, cooling paste thermal paste but you can wait to the end I'm yeah uh, usually I like to do this right before I reapply the new uh, fan I don't like to have it applied before but yeah you can you can do it if you want and also what's really important you have to remove this protection label uh, you can remove it at the end but I think it's a good idea to to remove it at the beginning because otherwise uh, maybe you are in a hurry at the end and you're a little bit uh, yeah I don't know so you you tend to forget this so that's a really good idea to do this now of course you have to be careful not to touch it with your like greasy fingers or whatever but uh, yeah do it now and then be careful so yeah here at the end of this uh, bracket uh, we have uh, like holes there are three holes and they are for different sockets so here with the intel 1150 we are using the um, uh, middle uh, space so and it's not when it comes it's i think it's not in the middle it's toward the inside it's i think it's here so you have to push it up this screw which sits here you have to push it up and then move it accordingly to this um, picture so with the Intel 1150 you have to push it to the middle uh, of these three like here you can see to the middle of these three uh, holes they are not actually three holes but it's yeah somehow three holes so and what you have to make sure that you align this like cross bracket uh, not like this but like this the difference is uh, one of these crosses is on top of the other and here you have the um, heat pipes you see this um, so the cooling pipes um, yeah you see when you when you have it um, I hope I will be able to show you yeah here you see them so the two are at the inside two are at the outside and when you see this so these are the pipes which are going to the outside these are the, the ones on the inside so you have to make sure that they cross this the, the, this bracket which uh, which is needed to attach uh, the whole um, fan down to the motherboard you have it on the right um, yeah uh, right side the right uh, direction don't do it like this you have to really turn it 90 degrees if it's like this I mean you will see you have to move this uh, like this the, 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 this cross you have to move this uh, through this gap here and after that it has to be like this when it's like this it's wrong so yeah this is from the top you can easily see so yeah it's a little bit confusing but you you will find it out you have to look everything um, from the from the top and then you will see how it looks okay um, I think at the end I did it right I hope so at least I'm not 100% sure it's, it's, it's a little bit confusing so okay um, here we have the Intel again so this uh, yeah these screws have to be applied from the inside through the motherboard these are the D ones these are the, the, the larger screws and then the, it, they pop out to the back of the uh, motherboard and then you have to attach this pli this plate so for Intel it will look like this so the plate won't touch the um, the motherboard itself there will be some uh, I don't know half an inch no maybe a quarter of an inch gap between the motherboard and this plate so this feet 
have to come down but at the end there will be a gap for this plate for amd it will be uh, the opposite so for amd it go this the whole plate will go down to the motherboard but i'm telling just for uh, intel 1150 so here you can you here you can see how it works yeah uh this has to go down like this you see that uh this uh, cross this bracket has to go through this gap uh, yeah so and at the end it has to be aligned like on the picture before so that's not easy but uh, i hope you will manage this so and yeah so uh, on the back of course you have to use these nuts to uh, secure the screws from the outside and you have to use or you can use this special tool which is included in the package you have to just uh, find your own screwdriver um, yeah here now you can see when the when you have your back plate on the back of the um of the motherboard so you can start and you have everything on like the the thermal paste and everything on then you can start um screw this cross down to these screws which you have applied but you have to make sure that you match uh, there's a gap in the middle there's a screw in the middle and there's a gap at the heat sink and this has to be aligned i don't know if there is any picture yeah here you can see that that's important here you have a screw but there's actually not a screw you don't have to uh, screw it you don't have to do anything with that but here there's a, a little bit a gap there's a hole so you have to align it you have to push it down okay you have to make sure this is aligned this is really important so yeah this is intel lga there's something uh, different here it's for amd as well amd again another thing amd and then at the end when you have secured your heatsink with this cross bracket at the end you have to reattach your fan itself so yeah because yeah you see uh, here you have the screw and it's not possible to screw it down with the fan you really have to remove it first and then reapply it at the end just make sure that your cable is close to the motherboard power um, plug okay that's pretty easy and yeah what about uh, to make sure that you choose the uh, a site which makes sense for the fan because uh, this is the airflow direction okay this is airflow if you have an a, a fan in uh, in the back which pushes to this side and you have this like this it pushes also to this side so that doesn't make sense you then you have two uh, opposite uh, airflow like uh, they go towards each other and they uh, are somehow neutralized so you have to maintain uh, uh, an airflow which makes sense so if you have already uh, like a fan in the back which blows blows to this side so you have to put the fan also in the back that you uh, accelerate even the airflow to this side so yeah you have to be really careful i mean the good thing the heat sink allows to put it uh, to put this um fan towards any uh, both both sides you can attach it here or you can attach it to the back just make sure that the airflow make sense at the end and here unfortunately a bad picture with that which i have taken but here you can see um you can put uh, either the original fan to the back which i have mentioned so to to put uh, that the airflow goes to this direction or you can put uh, you can attach uh, another like an additional fan so you have two fans and even more 
cooling power so and for this reason you need these additional plastic brackets and these four screws and at you you, you can see this this is the yeah like this is the, the the fan which you get but you can fan, uh, you can buy an additional fan uh, which you can apply here and then of course you have to also be careful that you uh, make sure that uh, the uh, airflow uh, works in one direction so that it flows the whole thing to this side or to this side and it's not neutralizing then at the end and here of course at the end you have to reattach the power supply which is usually in the front here close close to the CPU on the motherboard so here are a few pictures at the end how it looks here you can see the heatsink and the br cross bracket and here the back you can see this plate this part of the plate is not attached to the motherboard there's some protection sheet please leave it on maybe you will use it sometime later for uh, AMD and then you have to um, like move it upside down so then the this side of the plate will be will have to be attached to the motherboard so you really need this um, this uh, in, in insulation uh, foil so you have to really leave this sheet on and don't don't remove that even when it's actually not needed for Intel of course because yeah there's nothing on this side no electric wire nothing so here you can see um, yeah um, yeah it's a little bit bad picture you can you can't see the screws the holes but they are here um, yeah okay here a more detailed picture of the yeah the screws here and this is from the side and you can see also where the power cable is attached another picture from the top as well Yeah, the, to um, yeah secure these screws, it's a little bit tricky. It needs some time, so you have you you, you don't want to do this in a in a hurry. It um, yeah, and and you have to make sure that while you do this, you are not moving around your heat sink too much because of the thermal paste which is already there on the CPU. So yeah, don't don't move it around. Maybe you hold this with an, with with your uh, second hand or with uh, somebody's helping you and securing this thing while you try to screw down this uh, there are these screws are uh, buffered with these springs so so and and uh, yeah they move around a, a, a lot you have to be really careful it needs a little bit of patience to really re, uh, attach this and here you can see the whole thing which is left after installing Intel 1150 so these are this one uh, fan this is for the second fan uh, also the screws are for the second fan these screws I don't know so um, yeah I have it on I have it working so no problem at all uh, yeah don't worry if you have these leftovers from the package when you're installing Intel 1150 so that's about it I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time